Morning guys! It is currently about 2pm on a Sunday and I, as you can tell, have just had a shower um, and quite frankly it's an absolute miracle that I'm even out of my pyjamas today as I don't have plans today. So I thought it would be a great time to actually do my wardrobe, oh, what do you call it, like turnover for the summer and I will show you what I'm going to do with it. So first I'm going to take all of my things out of the cupboard and the drawers and off the floor um, and um, put them on my bed so I can see what I've got and then I'm going to go through and see what it is that I need for this season and instead of still having so many winter jumpers out that I just don't need to wear at the moment. So let's get cracking. So I'm starting off by unpacking my t-shirts, which I keep in this drawer. So it has all of my tops in there, it has all of my cardigans, and then so that's in the front row, and then the back row is all of my dresses and my um, jumpsuits as well. And then the drawer below it has trousers in it, um, it has a load of random stuff that I've just shoved in there apparently, um, and it's supposed to just have trousers, skirts, and jumpers and then it has a few extra bits and bobs like makeup bags and that sort of thing that I just don't know where to keep. Um, oh, it also has my bras, but I'm not gonna get at those because I'm keeping those. So this is how it's looking so far. Um, this is just all of my winter stuff that was already in my wardrobes. So I have some skirts here, got mini skirts and then midi skirts as well. I've got my culottes, which I'm not sure why they are out to be honest. Um, they should have been away for summer. I've um, got a couple of jumpsuits, I've got some pinafores, all the rest of my dresses, some shirts and all my tops. Um, and loads of, it looks like loads of jumpers but I actually don't wear very many of them. And then jackets over there. So my next job is to unpack this suitcase which it's, uh, I do actually roll everything and put it in neatly but I needed something from it the other day and I kind of just like tore everything out and rootled through it to find it. But this is all my summer stuff so I'm going to now put this with the stuff on the bed and make an even bigger pile. So this suitcase I keep under my bed and it's supposed to have all of my skirts or dresses and that sort of thing in but as you can see I've also got a hook and um, some cycling trousers. Um, so I'm afraid you're going to see a lot of my bum in this video because I didn't think through the skirt I was wearing and it rode right up. But I'm just taking everything out and putting it on the bed. There's also some things like my Better Tiger scarf um, in there and also my boyfriend's monster jersey, um, which we just keep in there because we don't need very often. Um, and also a guide uniform because I used to work for the guides. So I ended up with a pile on my floor that was everything like gym wear or dance wear that I needed to keep and on my bed everything else that I need to go through which was a bit overwhelming, it's quite a big pile. So I started off by putting all my jumpers into my suitcase um, that can go into the bed ready for winter. Anything that I wasn't going to keep I popped in a pile on my pillow, um, so that's things like these culottes because they don't fit anymore and then anything that needed adjustments. Um, like the skirt need, needed to take a lining, then I put a different pile. Um, there was lots to put in the winter clothes, and then anything that was just summer, I put in a pile at the end of my bed. So that bit's done. Um, I've now sorted it into three piles. So this pile is stuff I am keeping. Um, this pile is like the random stuff that I need to keep, but it's things like fleeces and that, which is a bit boring. Things that need to go under the bed, things that need alterations, and potentially things I'm going to get rid of. So now I think my job is to go through the things I'm definitely keeping and make sure I'm definitely keeping them and then put them back. So I started off by folding all my clothes and then making them into piles on my bed um, depending on what type of uh, item it was. So I'm just going to show you my handmade clothes because there was a lot and the ready to wear clothes aren't that interesting. But this is my Vogue plunge dress, you know, the one that was all over Instagram last year. Um, I didn't actually get to wear it much because I made it just before the weather got really cold so I'm hoping to get lots of wear out of it this year. Um, and then this is my So Over Eve dress which is a really good one for when you want to look a bit summery but it's actually a little bit chilly, um, so I really like that one too. 
obviously then had a phone break because this was quite boring to do. I ended up watching some YouTube. I can't remember who I was watching, but probably one of you guys. Um, and turns out I am really bad at folding uh, when I was doing this. And so that's why it took so long. This is very sped up, believe it or not. I look like I'm going at snail's pace, but it is. And there are some things that were in my keep pile, but just don't fit anymore. So I need to work out how to do something with that. And that was it. And it was exhausting. So this is what I'm left with. So I have my jeans, um, which I have some ASOS ones, some Topshop ones. I think these are the awesome jeans and some super dry ones. And then have three mini skirts. So I've got my one that's, oh, that's my ultimate pencil skirt. It is quite thick, but it's quite summery looking. So that's why I've kept it out as for the colder days. My nest skirt and a River Island one. Got a pair of culottes, um, a maxi dress. These three are like long sleeve dresses. So that's an ASOS one, and then that's the Sova at Zoe, and this is the Vogue, or oh, the one with the plunge, don't know what it's called. Then I've got um, t shirty style ones, this is Butterick one, my Sova Eve dress, one that I got from America, I don't know what it's called, and the By Hand London Anna dress. Oh, I also have one that's fallen off. This one is, oh, where was it from? It was, it's quite old, I think it's like Miss Selfridge. And this is a like pool throw on cover up thing that's quite nice. Um, and then I have two shirts, both ready to wear, a few vests, um, a top that was, was it River Island? And it was like a double layer thing, and then I just took the bottom out, so it's now a crop top, which was a nice little hack because it was too big, too small on the hips, so I just did that and it worked really well. Then got uh, the new look uh, top I made recently, and I have two cardigans. That's kind of it. I mean, there's there's some stuff in the wash, but yeah, this is what I've narrowed it down to. And then there's this pile over here, which is a pile of stuff that I need to like adjust or something. So this is was well is currently a ultimate shift dress and I really don't like it but I like the fabric so I'm going to see if I can do something with that fabric um, this is my Camille jumpsuit where I messed up the bodice so I need to make that into trousers this top I need to like somehow make it work across the bust and like sew it up a bit that's a tight fit um, this is like my beloved I love this so much it's um, a Miss Selfridge dress and it's too small now, but it has this cape back, let's see if I can show you. So this is the back, it's got the shirring across the back, and then it's got this cape that comes all the way down the shoulders, and then it goes down the front as well, and then it's like little fake buttons at the front and it's got a tie back. So nice, so pretty, too small, I'm gonna see if I can do anything with that and like maybe make a pattern from it. Then got this, which last year I just chopped the hem off and I never actually hemmed it. Um, that's just a midi dress. I'm not actually sure if this will fit. I need to try some of these on. Um, <laughs> this is a bridesmaid dress, and I've been thinking there's so much fabric in it. Like this was really expensive. It was like two hundred pounds, not two hundred pounds. It was like I think it was like one hundred and twenty. And I'm never ever going to need to wear a bridesmaid dress again. So. I think I'm going to like take off the bodice and make it into a maxi skirt. I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, interesting zip they've done. They've done a lipped zip instead of a concealed zip. I'm not entirely sure why they would have done that. Um, but anyway, then I've got my mustard collots where I used a really old zip for my stash and uh, it's broken. I have this top which I love, which is just say, it says just make lemonade, and it has a hole in the back, and I'm not sure how. I think I must have got caught on like a belt or something, but I always get it tucked in anyway, so I'm just going to cut it off there and then hem it. And this is a really well, it's quite old denim shirt and it's really soft denim, so it's got holes under the armpits. So this is my pile of things that by the time I post this video, 
I'm going to pop on here if I've actually mended any of these. So this is um, in my drawer now. So I've got my cardigans, I've got my dresses and I've got my tops. And what this has taught me is that I really need to make more tops because I only have four. <laughs> um, there are a couple of more like in the wash. None of my t-shirts are here. And I th I've got two or three t-shirts. But yeah, my wardrobe is so winter heavy because I just prefer winter clothes. And um, this is why I make bad decisions and spontaneously buy things most of the time. So that's why I'm trying to do this early so I can then make a conscious effort to make like the gaps in my wardrobe so I don't end up just buying random crap when I need it. And then this is the other drawer. So I've got my three skirts, I've got my jeans, some gym stuff, most of it's in the wash though at the moment as well. Collapse will go and if I have shorts and then I've got a few bras and back there's my wash bag. And if you're wondering if that is all of the space that I have to put my um, clothes, the answer is yes. I have, um, uh, we do have a wardrobe but that just has Rory's shirts in it really. Um, and my shoes, um, oh I need to put the dressing gown and uh, thing away as well. Um, but I don't really, I don't really have a lot, so I don't really need a lot of space. I do have another drawer for like pyjamas and that sort of thing, but I'm not going to go through those. Um, so now, just to put things away I guess, that's this pile over here. <laughs> and then put them underneath the bed. I've actually added another pile to this drawer, and that is things that need to be fixed. So in here I've just got... Um, these five things that I spoke about earlier and then on this I'm leaving out these because I'm going to do these today that is my plan let's see if it gets done and then the last step was to put all of the clothes that are for winter under the bed and because they're so bulky I had to put them in these uh, what do you call them vacuum bags and then put them inside my suitcase because they wouldn't fit in just as it was as it was they still didn't really fit in but I just had to really, really fight with my suitcase until it would fit. Um, this is quite a small one, but we just don't have that much space. And that is the issue with living in a London flat. So um, enjoy this video of me attempting to close this suitcase and hopefully not breaking it. Um, I forgot to film an outro. So this is your outro. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like or a follow if you did. See you next time.